one week of clean water, <laughs> fresh food, and spacious living spaces, and experts say these animals are stronger and healthier than ever. They're resilient, they're very resilient. Just seven days earlier, <laughs> these were their living conditions. <laughs> When more than 500 animals were rescued from this farm in Louisa, court documents show the owner, 77-year-old Clara May Collier, was charged with five counts of animal cruelty. Thursday, Collier was sentenced to 30 months in prison with all 30 of those months suspended, which means no jail time for her. But she will, however, now be on probation for two years and have to complete 500 hours of community service. <laughs> Collier was also ordered to never own more than two birds again. What we have in here is stuff that's been donated from the community. As for what made it possible to rehab, shelter, and feed hundreds of animals instantly, <laughs> Guinea pig food, chicken feed, goat feed, everything you think of as far as the feed wise. Donnie Embry says volunteers donated four to five thousand dollars worth of goods, something he has never seen before. No, no, not one, not to this scale, no. And, and it's not come from just out of Louisa, it's come from Fairfax County, it's come from Spotsylvania, people have come from over in the valley to bring stuff over too. Local business owner Wesley Childs was part of that movement. You'll see different people coming together and doing their part, whether it's me giving a water truck or someone bringing dinner for the volunteers or the volunteers themselves. It's just a lot of different you know, aspects coming together to make it all work, which is what Louisa County is all about. Saving animals from a situation where they were sick and dying yeah. and preparing them for safe and healthy adoptions. Working for you in Louisa, Jasmine Norwood, CBS 6 News.